Here are the starters. Number one, Source, of course, owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Coffeyville, Kansas. Jerry Logan is the trainer driver. Number two, Barry Wynn, owned by Dennis Gardner and Diana Hendricks of Olney. Trained by Dennis Gardner, Mike Cox is up. Number three, Never T, owned by Roger Poldman of Rock Island, trained and driven by John Reese. Number four, Scotch Peak, owned by the Prestige Stable and by Trotting Equities Limited, trained by Glenn Hall, the driver, Tony Morgan. Number five, Mr. Bergemeister, owned by Donald Roy Warnick of Macon, trained and driven by Irvin Miller. Number six, a Charger Mouse, owned by Robert and Michael Silberberg and by Jim Eaton. Eaton is the trainer, Brent Holland is the driver. Number seven, Thunder River, owned and trained by John Brown of Macomb. The driver today is Dave McGee. Number eight, Fester the Pester, owned and driven by Jay DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. The trainer is Bo DeLong. And number nine, Harmony Oaks Tyler, owned by Walter Bootenshane of Marengo, Illinois. Trained by John Bootenshane, Andy Miller is in the bike. The fifth race, trotting Colts and Geldings, will be at the post in less than five minutes. Two-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings, and behind, here they come. They're off and trotting. Thunder River goes for the lead. Scotch Peak is right there with him. Mr. Bergemeister now moves up in between horses to trot third, heading into the first turn. Barry Wynn comes away, racing in fourth. Source, of course, is off stride as they move toward the quarter. Mr. Bergemeister leading Scotch Peak and Thunder River, who's parked on the outside, one length off the lead. Barry Wynn is fourth toward the inside. Then Never T. A Charger Mouse comes next, followed by Fester the Pester, moving by the quarter-mile mark. And then after that, Harmony Oaks Tyler and Source, of course. 30 seconds flat for the opening quarter, and Thunder River has made the top now by a length and a half. Mr. Bergemeister is second, the same margin. Then Scotch Peak is third. Barry Wynn is fourth. And then Never T, a Charger Mouse, Fester the Pester, followed by Harmony Oaks Tyler. And now there goes Never T. He's moving up on the outside from the fifth position, some four lengths off the leader. And Thunder River still trots with the lead. Here comes Scotch Peak now moving up. Off the half in 102 and 1. Scotch Peak is right alongside of Thunder River. Mr. Bergemeister is next. Never T made a break while advancing on the leaders. A Charger Mouse goes to fourth. He's three lengths from the front. Then Barry Wynn inside of Harmony Oaks Tyler around the far turn. Fester the Pester is five lengths off the lead. Back up front. Here comes a Charger Mouse putting a head in front. He leads it by a full length now. And then Harmony Oaks Tyler, who picks up the chase in second as the leaders continue to shuffle past three quarters. Scotch Peak is third. Fester the Pester is fourth. He's four lengths off the lead. But a Charger Mouse is on top, 134 and four at the three quarter mile mark. Harmony Oaks Tyler is still inching forward on the outside, and Fester the Pester is third. They're in the final eighth mile. Harmony Oaks Tyler just keeps moving up and gets a short lead now. A Charger Mouse is second. Fester the Pester, then Thunder River, a late running fourth. And coming to the line, it is Harmony Oaks Tyler getting up by two lengths to win it. It was unofficially a Charger Mouse second, then it was Fester the Pester to third, and finally Thunder River trotted home in fourth, 2.05 and two fifths the time for the mile. And the result is official now for the fifth race, 9.68 official, the 9.6 exact at $23.40. And the lightly raced trotters coming out of Chicago have come race ready here this afternoon. Here is the latest winner coming out of Balmoral Park. Number nine, Harmony Oaks Tyler, Andy Miller, the winning driver. Walter Bootenshane is the owner breeder of Marengo, Illinois. John Bootenshane, the trainer. This winning two year old trotter, a gelded son of Roz's man with a speedy crown mother, 205 and 2. Let's go down and check in with Ed Teefee. Thank you, Kurt. With me here in the winner's circle, one of the... <laughs> and one of the breeders, uh, John Bootenshane. And with him is his son. What's your name? Tyler. Who was this horse, Harmony Oaks Tyler, named after? Me. All right. Tyler Bootenshane, the namesake of Harmony Oaks Tyler. 
And uh, John Butenchain, just the second lifetime start for this Colt. Had a fifth at uh, Balmoral, and he's only other lifetime start. And he's by a horse that's got to be kind of dear to you in Roz's man. Yes, he is. Uh, Roz's man was uh, one of the first Colts that I had of any account on the trotting end of it. And he won an American National Stake, defeated Royal Strength, uh, Sierra Cosmos doing that at Sportsman's, soared up on us, and we weren't able to race him as a three-year-old. But he was such a nice horse, we bred a few of our own mares, and here we are. <laughs> well, congratulations to John Butenshane, his son, Ed Tyler, with a fine win this afternoon. Harmony Oaks, Tyler, he'll be back at the Ridge Final next week. Thank you, John Butenshane. Back to you, Kurt. All right, thank you, Ed.